Next example, we want to find the parametric equation of a tangent to the helix. Uh, remember the helix from last time? The helix. And the helix is given by x equals 2 cos sine t, y equals sine t, and z equals t. Okay, so those are parametric equations, and we want to find this at the point, the tangent at the point, uh, 0, 1, and pi over 2. So this is the, uh, the helix that um, uh, whose main, uh, his axis is, is parallel, or actually in this case coincide with uh, the z-axis. Uh, so a curve climbing up on the cylinder. And um, what we need to do is find the, uh, uh, the equation, sign the parametric equations of the tangent. So we start with uh, the derivative of the, uh, of the position vector. Well, the position vector is just a little bit of redundancy here. Uh, I'm sorry. It's 2 cos sine t, sine t, and, and uh, t, like so. We want to find uh, a value of t when the point is 0, 1, and pi over 2. So we want x to equals pi over 2, uh, I'm sorry, x equals 0, y equals uh, 1, and z equal, equals uh, pi over 2. The obvious value that gives us uh, this uh, is t equals pi over 2. Okay, so we have the value of t that corresponds to this point. Again, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, sine of pi over 2 is 1, and t equals pi over 2. So everything works well. Now we need to find, we have a point. We want to find the direction of the tangent. Okay? I remember we talked about direction numbers A, B, C for plane, but also we, we can apply it to a vector. So if we take the derivative vector, well, we'll have negative uh, 2 sine t, and then we have cosine t, and then 1. Okay? And the v <coughs> The derivative vector at t equals pi over 2 will be simply uh, negative 2, and then 0, and 1. So those are the direction numbers. So uh, we know now that the parametric equations are going to be x equals, let's say this is a, b, and c, right? And those points are x sub 0, y sub 0, and, and uh, z sub 0. So we have x sub 0 plus a t, y equals y sub 0 plus b t, and uh, z equals z sub 0 plus c t, and in this case, x equals uh, x sub 0 is 0, and a is negative 2, so simply going to have x equals negative 2, y equals y sub 0, is uh, 1, but b is 0, so y equals 1, and z, z sub 0 is pi over 2, and c is 1, so pi, pi over 2 plus t. And this, folks, is the answer. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's uh, talk about second derivative. This is another one of those easy tasks. Find r double prime of t for the same r of t in, uh, in example three, in the previous example. So now we are looking at the second derivative. Well, what is the first derivative is given right here, right? So r prime of t is uh, negative 2 sine t, cos sine t and 1, 
in R double prime of T simply will take the derivative of uh, of the of the derivative to get to the second derivative so we have negative 2 cosine t negative sine t and 0 